So yeah, I just want to show off this latest uh, build, which is uh, Makulu Linux uh, Lethe Alpha 2.02. .02. So the main changes that you will see here is the uh, panel, is curved panel, uh, the curved 3D panel with the transparency. And then of course the other biggest change you'll see that uh, there's no longer a dual menu system here. Uh, you've just got the, the logout button on the right and the menu button, main menu button on the left. However, there's actually uh, five menus in the system, believe it or not, there's literally five menus in the system. So let's first get to the first one. If I right click on the desktop, I can go applications and I find my very old XFC traditional style launcher. So very easy, right click on the desktop, go to applications and I've got access to everything, including logout, wine, system, everything. Everything's here, settings, it's all here. Okay, so I just simply right click and I can go to applications and I can just access my main menu through there. So the guys that really, really like the very, very old classic style system uh, menu or launcher can just access it simply by right clicking. Okay, the other option is the actual menu button on the dock here. Now, the first time you launch this, the very first time you launch this, it will actually ask you which menu you prefer. Okay, and it, it will give you four options it will give you the ring launcher which is the expanding ring launcher, I'll go through them all. The second one is the old style classic launcher. The third one is a synapse, synapse quick type launcher. And the fourth is the full screen launcher. So let's go to the ring launcher. Let's choose, okay, I, I prefer the ring, ring launcher. So let's click ring launcher. It says there, your launcher has been set. Please run the icon from the menu again to start your launcher. You can also change your launcher at any time from the settings manager. Okay, cool. So done. I click now as you can see there is the ring launcher which I can now just use to navigate. I quite like this launcher by the way, I really do, it's very awesome, uh, very new looking, very slick. It does take get some getting used to if you've never used it before but you know within within like a day's usage it, you feel very comfortable with this. Um, I'm guessing a lot of the older guys that have been in Linux a long time and very set in their ways probably won't like it very much but uh, you know um, the younger crowd I think will really enjoy this launcher okay so for the sake of this demo I actually put this icon on the desktop it usually is not here you can usually find it inside your uh, menu under settings you'll find here let's find it here somewhere uh, there it is Okay, so usually you'll find it under system settings in your menu, but for the sake of this demo, I put it on the desktop. So yeah, so if you want to change your launcher, if you're using the ring launcher and you decide, well, I, I don't I really want more the classic style launcher, you can just, uh, in your menu, open that little shortcut over there, it brings you back to here and you can choose classic. So now, you can just hit the button now and you'll get your classic menu by the way, all the menus open center screen now I really prefer it that way this build is not about classic style or anything like that so it's gonna do a lot of things differently so all menus in open center screen now um, anyway so yeah so now you've got access to your classic style menu see quite easy all I did was I ran this little uh, shortcut you chose classic style and it's there and as you can see it's here in sets inside settings go down there it is select launcher okay so it's under your settings menu I've just put a shortcut on the desktop for this demo so there you've got your classic style launcher fully operational click again to synapse maybe you want a quick quick type launcher if you click on now it will give you the uh, you can even go select launcher there we go <sighs> How cool is that? So that's the quick type. So you can just type an uh, app or start typing an app name and just open it. Uh, very cool option as well. Some people might prefer that. And then of course you got your full screen. So let's just full screen over there. 
now if we click menu you've got access to your sort of gnome 3 style menu it's got categories at the top so you can sort of browse here like categories or you can scroll with a mouse wheel or you can just type search over here select launcher Ooh, it doesn't give an icon there but okay um, let's go back to ring again so I can just keep jumping between launches so I can just keep uh, swapping and changing launches as I wish so you got access to all four of these launches as well as obviously the the desktop uh, right click old style very old style launcher so you literally have access to five launches and you can just swap between them on the on the go on the fly with no issues at all and just use whichever you prefer look how easy this is I, I just I just click and it's done I mean remember I'm running Debian here this is Debian okay <laughs> every time I, I make a video I just show you guys how easy I make things on Debian so yeah I, I'm just I'm just browsing through launches here I'm trying to break the system however it's not gonna happen because these things just work <laughs> anyway so um, so yeah that's that's pretty much what I've done now in the last video was uh, combine all these launches to work nicely you know to give the user the power to just switch between different launches you know some people prefer this some people prefer that some people prefer to sort of uh, you know change every once in a while maybe use this launcher for a while and maybe jump to the other launcher uh, you know maybe come back to this one I mean it's not set in stone that's the nice thing about Linux is that you can literally just you know uh, configure it and, and just go crazy anyway so that's the launcher over there on this side obviously you have the logout option which is in all the launchers as well anyway but I've just put it over there for the guys that can't find it or I prefer it you know out there in the open the other big change is the alt Z which is zoom so if you if you just click alt Z combination key alt Z you enable zoom now zoom is locked it is on and it's locked until I push alt Z again that is for these little icons and things especially here with the notification I don't icons some you know some older guys or some visually impaired guys might actually struggle with this yeah you know so you can just alt z and and uh, you know just alt z again and it's gone it's very quick very easy and then of course there's a whole bunch of new wallpapers some really cool funky wallpapers um, so yeah um, and then of course I have uh, really worked a lot on the whole um, 3d concept of the cube so this is now really operating very well it's got the reflections the backgrounds all blending um, it's actually got uh, if you if you actually 3d it now it's actually got the depth perception between as you can see between uh, uh, the actual cube and open tabs which is pretty cool so um, polishing has been quite fun the system is uh, now quickly building up to a beta there's very few bugs that remain if if many any major ones anyway um, a couple of things I've still got to sort out but it's shaping up really nice it's running so stable so so stable um, yeah you've got a nice update manager here you've got a nice software manager um, you've got package ma package manager the web browser is working like a dream the uh, plugins are working like a dream I mean they just operate these plugins are just gold you know you can um, just select the website your Gmail WeChat Instagram Google Maps whatever um, these plugins just they are so great they just really add to the flavor they almost give the OS a, a Mac type feeling you know like a Mac OS uh, feeling to the OS just these little plugins so yeah that's pretty much the update for Makulu Linux Lathe edition so uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sure you'll be happy that you now have these little extra options when uh, choosing uh, or wanting to choose a menu so yeah it's in assess settings and it's under uh, select launcher 
they have put a little shortcut to it over there the one on the desktop is not usually on the desktop I only put it there for demo purposes to show this video but yeah it's so easy just there we go four different launches right at your fingertips you just click and it's done you've also got the actual uh, old style launcher from the desktop just by right clicking as well so how awesome is that Makula Linux Lethe Edition is running it's running on Duster um, Buster um, Debian Buster so it's it's very stable and it's a uh, rolling release obviously and wow Debian's never been this beautiful or this easy to run before I tell you that much um, out of the box this thing is a looker I mean just look at this it is absolutely stunning so you got all these nice effects and everything all running very well and you've got these beautiful launches that you can use the whole system is just set up so beautifully so uh, I'm uh, the other thing is the uh, release date you guys were asking oh well I've had people asking me about that well I'm, I'm aiming for somewhere around 15 to 20 December to release a beta however I, I must I must bring up this point that you know in the last year we've had a little bit just a little bit over five hundred dollars of donations touching on six hundred dollars that's for the whole year that's not a week that's not a day it's not a month that's for the whole year I, I mean I'm in Asia teaching English uh, part-time and you know as a part-time English teacher I could make that in two weeks of full-time teaching I can make that in two weeks so this project is made in a year what I make two weeks te you know working in the real world and I can tell you now I've put in whew, a thousand times more hours into this than I ever did into my teaching so I'm really kind of miffed that um, you know that people don't support us in in that regard however I will release this beta um, but I have to say if 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 the support doesn't come after I release this beta I mean after this hard work's been done and the community continues to not support the project you guys are gonna wait a hell of a long time for a follow-up beta uh, I mean I I will continue to work on this but I will start limiting public public releases um, it's just shocking 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 that people take my work for granted like this um, you know we've got three four thousand downloads a, a week five thousand downloads a week sometimes even touching on ten thousand downloads a week and really like in in almost a whole year six hundred dollars that's it <sighs> um i know i'm going on about this but uh you know if i don't mention it it doesn't get mentioned so i just want to get the elephant out of the room it is very very shocking and I'm very disappointed very disappointed that uh, people will sometimes email me and tell me oh you know what I've set this up for a client and you know I need uh, how do I do this and how do I fix this and I'm thinking wow here's this guy who's never donated because I don't see his name on a donation list and he's selling or this or making money of a client running my my work and uh, yeah and he expects me to do his uh, <laughs> to actually help him for free um, so yeah just the, the kind of the things that I've seen or how my work's been abused uh, is a little bit concerning um, but I you know I have faith in people so I will give the benefit of the doubt and I will release the beta um, however I, I give this warning if if it doesn't pick up um, from now on my work will purely be motivated by cash I'm sorry but the world has gotten to a point where cash rules everything and I'm done struggling with this project I'm done running this project out of my own pocket when I shouldn't have to and I'm done struggling with free servers and free repos and the endless bullshit that comes with it because you know people just want to freeload so um, I just put this out there you know that obviously um, I, I will make this beta available but 
if I don't see any kind of support from the community, you guys are going to wait a very, very long time for a follow-up build. And I tell you, this is a beautiful, beautiful build. This has taken a lot of my time, a lot of effort. You know, Debian build Letha has been on in the works now for, geez, more than two years I've been working on this um, to get to this point where I am now. So it has a lot of hours put into this, a lot of hours, a lot of manpower. And uh, man, you, you can see, you can see what I've done here. Um, this is not child's play. So um, yeah, I expect at least some support for that. Anyway, that wraps up this video. Uh, the next video I'll make will probably be in the next few weeks, much closer to launch. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, are ready for this. This is going to be a really awesome, awesome release. Something a little different than you're used to, uh, especially being based on Debian. Um, yeah, I will, s I will speak to you guys soon. Have a cool day. And... Uh, Keep an eye out, or keep an eye on Makudu, Lethe Edition. All the news about it, it's coming your way soon. Cheers.